Hello! Thanks for watching Sunward's informational video on how solar hot water works. In this video, we will discuss the benefits of heating your water with the sun, how the Sunward system works, and why Sunward is the best renewable energy option for your property. Let's start with the basics. What makes hot water? Though the question may seem rhetorical, the answer is often underestimated. Energy, and lots of it. With most water heaters, water enters the heater around 50 to 60 degrees. The water is then heated by submerged elements or burners that are energized by a fuel source of some type. The most common sources of energy are electricity, propane, natural gas, and fuel oil. So literally, every time a hot water tap is opened, you are pouring money down the drain. Not to mention the fact that you are dependent on big oil and large utility companies. The average American uses 20 gallons of hot water per day. The most common uses are for laundry, showers, and dishes. This may not sound like a lot, but to put this into perspective, the next time you make spaghetti, think about how long it takes to boil even just a couple quarts of water. This is with your stovetop on full blast. Heating 20 gallons of water to 130 degrees is about the same amount of energy required to make 40 servings of spaghetti. A four-person home requires 20 million BTUs per year. That's equivalent to about 60,000 servings of spaghetti. So, about now, you're probably saying, how much is it costing me to heat my water? Bear with me as I take you back to high school physics class. For a slower and more detailed version of this calculation, watch our video, How Much Does Hot Water Cost? The equation shown here will help determine the amount of energy required to heat your water. Let's give this a try. Multiply 8.34 by the number of gallons of hot water you use per day. Then multiply the product by the temperature change of the water. Typically this will be about 80 degrees. Unfortunately, there is no such thing as a water heater that is 100% efficient. Most water heater efficiencies range from 60% to 99%. Typically, the newer they are, the more efficient they are. In this case, we're going to take the middle of the road efficiency of 85%, which means we need to add 15% to account for heat loss. And finally, to calculate the annual energy consumption, multiply that number by 365 days. At this point, I'm probably talking to myself, but now it's time to convert energy into cost. For this example, Let's use the most common energy source, electricity. Take your annual BTU production, divide it by your BTUs per unit found on this chart, and multiply that by the cost per unit. A total cost of $689 to heat your water for one year. That's a lot of energy. A solar water heating system can displace up to 75% of your hot water needs an annual savings of about $520. That's about a 10% return on investment per year. And this is assuming that fuel prices remain the same. So why not heat your water with an energy source that is totally free and will be available every day for the rest of your life? The sun. Let's talk about how solar hot water systems work. Cold water enters the storage tank around 50 or 60 degrees and then a heat transfer fluid is pumped up to the collectors to collect free heat. The fluid then comes back down super hot and transfers all of the heat to the domestic water. As long as the sun is out, the system will continue to collect free heat and store it in the storage tank. This way, when you call for hot water later in the day, it is readily available to you. The solar heated water then goes to your existing heater and out to the faucets. The Sunward water heater is a solar preheater to your existing water heater. In this picture, the tank to the left is the existing water heater and the Sunward solar storage tank is located to the right. Before the Sunward solar system is installed, cold water enters the hot water heater around 50 degrees, gets heated by the electrical elements, gas burner, or furnace loop of some type, and when a customer opens a hot water tap, the water leaves the tank at a temperature determined by the thermostat setting on that heater. When the Sunward system gets installed, 
the plumber will install a few valves that will divert the cold water to the solar storage tank first. That cold water enters the bottom of the storage tank via a long dip tube. When the sun shines, the PV panel will create enough power to run the glycol pump on the heat exchanger. This pump pushes a food grade, non-toxic heat transfer fluid through the micro tubing out to the collectors where it gets heated by the sun and then back to the heat exchanger. The now very hot glycol travels through the heat exchanger where it transfers all its heat to the potable water from the bottom of the storage tank. As the heat begins to transfer to the potable water, the potable water becomes less dense and naturally rises by convection to the top of the storage tank. This creates a natural flow of water from the bottom of the storage tank through the exchanger and to the top of the storage tank. The hot water will stratify and float on top of the colder water in the tank so that when a hot water tap is opened, it exits the tank immediately and enters the existing hot water heater. Because we are now introducing 120 degree water as opposed to 50 degree water, the hot water heater will not turn on. On a day where there is not quite enough sunlight to produce 120 degree water, the existing heater will raise the temperature. The control unit on the heat exchanger acts as the system's brain. It senses temperature of both the tank and the collectors and whenever the collectors are warmer, it turns the pump on. Whenever the collectors are colder than the storage tank, the pump will turn off. Sunward is 100% powered by the sun. Most other systems use AC pumps that are tied to a home's electrical grid. This can reduce your efficiencies by up to 15%. With the Sunward PV powered pump, there is no parasitic power losses. There's a tongue twister if I ever heard one. With Sunward, you can even make hot water during a power outage. It is sized correctly to operate in low light situations. It's easy to install and uses a low voltage plug and play power cable to send electricity to the pump. This eliminates the costly expense of an electrician. When the sun shines, the PV panel creates electricity, which travels through the low voltage plug and play power cable. This electricity powers the pump located on the heat exchanger. As the pump turns, fluid is pushed up to the collectors through the pre-insulated flexible tubing. Solar thermal collectors produce energy by trapping the heat created by solar radiation. As sunlight travels through the glass, it strikes the dark selectively coated absorber plate. The glass allows the heat to enter, but not easily escape. Very similar to your car in a parking lot on a sunny day. The heat transfer fluid travels through the center of the absorber plate, absorbing and pulling off the heat from within the collector. The sunward collectors have a very unique design, with one continuous absorber plate totaling 68 feet inside each frame. Unlike most other collectors, the sunward absorber plate does not have any spot welds or soldered joints that could potentially fail due to thermal expansion. Because of this unique design, the Sunward collectors have an industry-leading 20-year limited warranty and are SRCC OG100 certified. The system is also OG300 certified, Energy Star certified, and qualifies for all federal incentives. After the glycol has been heated by the sun, it travels back down to the heat exchanger. Once it gets there, it travels through 130 feet of copper coils which are surrounded by the potable water from the bottom of the storage tank. As the heat is transferred to the potable water, it warms up, becomes less dense, and naturally rises due to convection up and out of the heat exchanger towards the top of the tank. When this happens, it pulls more cold water from the bottom of the storage tank. Due to this unique thermal siphon cycle between the tank and heat exchanger, the entire system operates with only one moving object and is very efficient. The external heat exchanger provides a high quality of heat because it naturally pulls the cold water from the bottom of the storage tank, heats it up, and displaces it up at the top. Because the hot water is less dense than the colder water, it floats at the top, and is ready to be used when a hot water tap is open. With other internal heat exchangers, the heat exchange occurs at the bottom of the tank. As this water heats up, it wants to rise, but passes the colder water in the tank, and as it does so, creates a larger volume of much cooler water. This means that with the Sunward system, you will have hotter usable water 
on days with minimal sunlight. There are many reasons to choose a sunward solar water heater, but we've narrowed it down to our top 10. In a nutshell, Sunward is a U.S.-based company that manufactures a 100% solar-powered water heater that is a complete package and is engineered and designed to work together. It's certified for all federal incentives and has proven its reliability through 25 years of experience in the field, which allows us to provide you with an industry-leading warranty. This system can be installed in one day. Just contact us if you'd like professional installation. And when all is said and done, we keep giving by providing you with the best customer service in the industry. Do you want to save money, increase the value of your property, help the environment, and find energy independence? Then call us right now to find out if a solar hot water system is right for you. We will walk you through the basic steps to qualify your property. From all of us here at Sunward, thanks for watching and join us next time.